Hello everyone, welcome to the 20th video of the Titanic Solution series. In this particular video, we're going to do something different and we're going to use the original data set that Titanic has provided. So we're going to have some missing value treatments, some feature engineering, and all of that processes are going to be basically redone using the train and test data set that Kaggle has provided. So what's a pipeline? First, let's define that. I've taken this particular image from the Analytics Vidya article this image sort of encapsulates what the pipeline is going to actually look like, right? So you have some data, you basically create some columns that you require, then drop the columns that are not required, do missing value imputation and do some feature engineering if you have to, take all of those missing value treatment processes for different variables and then put them into a column transformer Right, which basically means you're combining different missing value treatment processes, then combining them to basically make your data ready for that particular model. And then we are going to take a random forest classifier, not a regressor, and then build some predictions on that particular pipeline. Right. So basically you have a input data, you treat different set of variables in different methods and combine them with a the column transformer, build a model on top of the process data you have and then build your predictions, right? So this is the simple process that we are going to be doing. To build the pipeline, obviously we need certain things and we need make pipeline, uh, which is intuitive for making all of the pipelines. Then we need a make column transformer, which is to basically combine all of the different missing value treatment processes that we are going to perform, right? Now, and then for missing value treatment, we will be requiring a simple imputer, which is going to be basically replacing any missing numerical values by a mean or a median or whatever we decided to put there, right? The next thing is K-bin discre uh, K-bins discretizer and one hot encoder, right? So this one basically takes our numerical variables and then create bins out of it. And next one hot encoder basically takes all of the categorical variable and creates dummy variables for it, right? And obviously it selects the most important ones while doing so in the process and sort of making the whole process a lot more easier. Then we're going to build a random forest classifier on top of it to put this all things together. We're going to import the data sets, train and test data set. You can download them from Kaggle directly. And also I have placed the links in the description below. You can download them from there also. First and foremost, what we need to do is like in the column, you know, we need to divide our columns into categorical or numerical features, right? And this is just a basic one. There are other types of variables that we can deal with in different ways. But for now, we're just going to basically stick with numerical and categorical features, right? So I took a generator here and then what I'm doing is I'm sorting all the columns that are numerical and that have a data type of either integer or float, right? And I'm excluding passenger ID in that particular process. Similarly, I will take categorical features where basically it is not an integer or a float and then put those rest of the variables in another name called as categorical features. So if I run this particular code, you will see that the numerical features that we have uh, that we got from this particular data set is P class, age, uh, sib siblings and spouse, parents and children, and then fair, categorical variable sex and uh, embarked. Since sex is a binary variable, it has, but it has male and female, and that is why it got treated as a categorical variable, right? So we'll have to still deal with it anyway. So we have the numerical features and categorical features, and now we're gonna build a pipeline to build a model instead of doing the typical miss missing value treatment and feature engineering processes uh, that we do in Python, right? And, and you'll see how your life gets much more easier with pipeline, but there comes certain downsides and certain new ways of tuning the variables in pipelining. And uh, in this particular case, we are going to basically see the basics of how to build the pipeline, right? So let's keep our focus there. Next, uh, like the usual, we are going to do the divide data into train and test sets, right? So you have your X variables uh, and I've dropped certain variables that we that that are difficult to handle in pipeline and kept it to the very simple set and then take taken the Y variable as survived as usual, right? Now I'll divide the data into test and train data set like usual. And then 
the next step obviously is to build the pipeline but i just wanted to give a comparison of how our processes will be looking like if we didn't do the pipeline and how it's going to be looking like if we do the pipeline right so if typical missing value treatment process will be something like that right you take all the variables that you have fill the median uh, if there is a numerical missing value column right and then if you if you bin the particular variable then you're like sort of binning that variable and making it much more easier for the algorithm to consume and then you have you know if you have categorical variable uh, you're sort of filling missing values with the missing word and then or you're trying to fill the missing values with uh, the most frequent occurring category and with object variables what you do is basically fill it with the most occurring value in that particular variable or you fill it with the missing value if there are more missing values available within it right so typical scenario it looks like this but we're not going to be doing this right we're going to be basically doing this pipeline with column transform and you're going to see how this is going to be easier to do it right so we have two sets of variable the numerical features and the categorical features and we're going to treat them differently and hence we have a make column transformer right so make column transformer combines two different sets of processes within this particular scenario right so for a numerical right we have a process uh, and we make a pipeline out of it right so we basically say take all the numerical variables that we have right and take a simple strategy of replacing any numerical values that you have any numerical missing values you have with the median so if age and fair have missing values you're simply replacing them with a median right so that's what this particular step is saying in the next step right you see we have a pipeline and the first step is obviously to uh, you know replace it with median the next step is obviously to make bins out of those variables right so here we created five and typically we have to give a number of a number here for that particular transformer to see how many bins it can create right so it's automatically going to create all of these uh, things for us lastly once you have the pipeline that you created so this is the pipeline that we created right uh, and we say that hey this pipeline is for all the features that come through from the numerical feature so that will be basically um, your p class age and whatever it is right so if there is a missing values they will do the treatment else it's just going to pass through like that only similarly now we're going to build another pipeline right in this particular pipeline what we're going to do is uh, we're going to impute it with constant right so we're going to fill that value with missing right instead of saying fill it with the best possible case we're just going to take a simple way of filling it with constant and treating that missing values as another uh, another category within that particular variable right so within male and female and the embarked right this is the strategy that's going to be up, uh, applied there right and i mean we can do much more better things with it but i'm just keeping things simple and then we're going to play around with how we're going to improve the accuracy using pipelines as a concept so in this particular pipeline for the categorical variables we are going to do a simple imputer strategy we are going to replace any value that is missing with missing and then uh, treat that as another category right and then we're going to do one hot coding that is create dummy variables the categories auto signifies that hey we want to basically select certain variables after dummy variables are getting created right so not all of the dummy variables will get selected the ones that are best will get selected in this particular case and if there are any unknown categories that come through in the test data set right we are going to basically ignore all of them and that's why this particular thing handle unknown is coming here so all this make pipeline that we did is applied to all the categorical variables that we have within the titanic data set so as you can see right this entire process steps here is just replaced by this simple piece of code and then we attach this pre-processor steps and create another pipeline along with it so we are like building a pipeline right so we build this particular part of it right now with two different uh, treatments that we have for the numerical and categorical right it combined them with the column transformer then we're going to attach that pipeline right this this whole blue represents the whole pipeline right so we're going to attach that pipeline with a random forest classifier so we got this random forest classifier and just we're just going to take n estimators as 100 right now we're not going to do any tuning but just build the pipeline right so finally we have this rf model as a pipeline which 
contains all the steps of missing value treatment and building the model. Now what we need to do is just take that entire pipeline and say fit with the X train and Y train. It's going to give you some warning messages because not all the variables that we will be having can create bins. So it's going to give you some warnings. You can ignore that for now and then look at the fit outcome that you got for this particular pipe and then takes it to another place that is a random forest classifier, right? And you can see the typical hyperparameters that we have uh, that we get from this particular case, right? So you'll see, you know, this entire modeling process is now compassed within a particular pipeline, right? And this will be the blue pipeline that you are seeing here, right? So it's combined all within this particular thing, right? Now what we need to do is we can just score it by the test set and see what is the accuracy, right? You'll see that test accuracy uh, is 0.75 and train is 0.8. And it's not bad for the data set that we have here. So the next steps is obviously to predict it on the test data set that Kaggle has provided and see how we score on the leaderboard, right? So I've already submitted this particular score, right? And uh, the solution pipeline using random forest, right? I got a score of 0.77, which is above the 0.76 that we usually start off with, right? So we already started off with a good score within the pipeline itself. And then next thing obviously is to try to improve the score using random forest hyper tu uh, hyperparameter tuning within the pi pipeline context. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video and and got a good hang of how to use pipeline for machine learning please hit the thumbs up button and show your love and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos